What's up, you two? Will it rebuild? Little short update on Radness. Been doing a little cleaning up under the hood. While you will, the frame off. Painted it up. Painted the firewall up. While you will, it down. Smoothing it out. Painted it up. Had a hole in the AC box. We went ahead and fiber glazed that up. Got it looking all right. My order, uh, new brake booster. Ain't no sense in cleaning that up. Shit old. It ain't that expensive. Just gonna buy a new one. Ran into a little situation when I was fixing that AC box. Stuck a screwdriver in the little crack that was in it. And I don't know, I see I think they got a dead rat in that sucker, man. Project Ratness. I think it got a dead rat in the AC box. So now what I gotta do is I'm gonna pull the AC box out. <clears throat> clean all up around the AC box on the other side sand that down and paint it but I want to take that AC box loose so I can clean that all out and see if I even still want to use it cause I don't need to be inhaling no shit from no rats once I hook my AC up same thing over here I'm gonna pull that uh, brake boost out, wire wheel, and sand all behind there, and finish painting the firewall. Still got my old clamshell mounts under there. I'm gonna take them off, clean up under there, put my new, uh, got my new Holly mounts to go in there. Hold up what the deal is. I'm waiting on the uh, stall converter to come for the transmission. Waiting on the stall converter to come so I could put the uh, motor and transmission in there together. It don't make no sense to be fighting with it, trying to put the transmission in. Why is in the car, engine in the car? I put them both in together. Clean up the firewall uh, up here. Clean that all up. Sand it down. I'm just going to spray that with some. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to spray it. I'm going to reseam seal it. I might just rub some rusty capsulated on in there because you can't see that. So I probably just do that black down up in there. Ran out of rusty capsulated on the floor. Need to get some more of that. But yeah, that's the hole up. That's when I'm, well, really, I think I'm going um, to stop just waiting on parts to come in. I'm going to do what I could do without the parts, with what I already got. So I think I'm going to break the suspension now and go ahead and do my big brake upgrade on this car while I'm waiting on the uh, stall converter to come in. And that way we already have the brakes done. Brakes will be done. Still got to take the hood off and take it to the shop and de -aid. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the underside of the hood black. I'm going to take the wheel wells off. I think I'm going to paint the uh, wheel wells flat black and paint the AC box flat black as well. And while I got the AC box out, I'm going to put a new heater core in it. And a new evaporator. And by the time I get all that done, hopefully we'll have a stall converter. So we can go ahead and put that put the engine in and get this thing wired up because it's almost ready for paint. Like I said by probably like two or three days worth of sanding, block sanding, and touching up a few areas that we need to touch up, like this fender. This fender got a little spot in it. 
we need to go ahead and touch that up, put some more filler in that, and a little work on the back quarter panels, sand them down and do a little filler, light filler work in there, and we should be ready to go ahead and spray it, man. But I don't want to be pushing it around the shop, so I need to go ahead and drop the engine in, wire it up, and just get it to where we can move it around. And then I'll bring it back here and finish it all up. But yeah, that's what we at YouTube. Just a little update on Radness. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change that booster and the master cylinder. Put that on the new. I ain't got time to be cleaning that up. That shit ain't that expensive. Just get, go ahead and get a new one. Gotta retouch this up. Then got priming and shit all over this. Spray a little uh, something inside the fenders. Try to wire wheel them off the best I can. I don't want to really pull them off the car. If I don't have to. Just wire wheel it up the best I can. Clean it up. Make it look presentable. Ain't no show car. But yeah, that's what we had, YouTube. Just a little update. Been busy with customer calls. Ain't really been having time to mess with the Monte Carlo. Customer come first. Gotta get them out the way. Make them happy. Just cleaned it up a little bit enough. Ready to go ahead and drop the engine in. Another thing too, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this car. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the storage. Cause I'll work on it. I'll work on ratness when I leave the shop in the evening time, but by the car sitting outside, you know, most of the time when I get home, it's eight, nine o'clock at night. And I ain't really got, I don't, it's dark outside, you know, so it ain't too much I could do. But if I put the hard top in the storage, I could come to the house and put in, you know, two, three hours and get it done like that inside the garage. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the hard top in storage for a couple of months so I can knock this thing out of here, man. So let's short up the YouTube Project Radness. Been working on it, a little bit off camera, a little minor knickknack stuff, nothing major because I've been busy. It's a little update on it. Project Radness, will it rebuild over and out, YouTube?